Jonah and Glow are nominated for eviction, but who will win the Golden Power Veto? Find out now on Big Brother Cheesecake 10 Stars Awaken. The Hello bar, there, the I am floor, Alex. Oi, Bonnie! Oi, I'm Mel Brooke. I'm, I'm Chucky. <laughs> I'm Casey. I'm Corey, and I'm Serene. I'm Dustin from Grace and Frankie. I swear to God, my name is Glow. Hello. I am Jonathan. I'm Jonah. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Jonathan. Hello there, I'm Curtis. I'm Missy, pass the vermouth. Hello, I'm Andrew Shevsik Moonves. Welcome to Big Brother Cheesecake 10 Stars Awaken. It's day 19 inside the Big Brother Cheesecake house. And this week, Dustin is the head of household. He nominated Jonah and Glow for eviction, but the Golden Power Veto can still change the nominations. Who will win it? We'll find out shortly. But first, I've got a few announcements to get to. So number one, I finally watched uh, Brazil and uh, Joanne, you didn't see in the main chat. I finally watched Deal or No Deal Island. Spoilers are coming, so close your ears if you don't want to hear them. But how much you want to bet that Prod begged that little Cochrane 2.0 guy not to uh, get rid of Rob. Because we we all know that they weren't going to let Rob go, Boston Rob go on the first episode. Like, they, they basically told him. And if he had refused, they would have found a way to rig the game so that he lost in the game. 100%. Uh, and then that Jason uh, magical penis guy, he was married to Eva Longoria, or no, Sofia Vergara for years. He looked like he's dressed from Ross Dress for Less. Like, it was just, it was really a bad look. And then I'm actually rooting for Claudia. Because, Glow, you might know this since you're in the pageant circuit. Claudia Jordan was Miss Rhode Island USA 1997, and she made top 10. She should have made the top six. She picked a bad evening gown. This is a true story. And unfortunately, she was cut at the top 10. It was very upsetting. And then she went on Celebrity Apprentice after she was on Deal or No Deal. Uh, and she lost to Joan Rivers, who I, I just, I don't know. I, I shouldn't make fun of the dead, but I'm not a big fan of Joan Rivers. Because she's she has all the Botox. She's like... I need more Botox. Someone press the Chianti. I'm just like, <laughs> oh my God, I can't deal with her. But anyway, rest in peace. Okay, so uh, now let's get to some scheduling updates. So tomorrow, so that Glow can watch Survivor, we are starting at 10 p.m. Eastern. There is no Zoom or episode on Thursday. So you all kind of, you're going to find out soon, you're kind of going to get a day off Thursday. It's kind of the halfway point, but not quite, but just about. So yay, day off, woohoo. Um, the disadvantage to, sh to shrinking 85 days into 50 is every day there's something versus with 85 days, you have some free time. Um, yeah, Justin's like, yep, <laughs> he misses the 85 days. Uh, and Friday, we are starting early because I have to work at 4 a.m. Friday morning. So I'm starting the Zoom early. We're starting at 8 p.m. on Friday, which means that the endurance competition is going to be Thursday morning, 9 a.m., the the Redemple Temple to Friday night at eight, not nine. So it's actually a thirty five hour comp, not thirty six hours. So bonus there for those people. Okay, now the special announcement. Uh, okay, I don't know. Joanne just had an orgasm or something. Uh, the special announcement is that based on a uh, ending of a Zoom call, I decided to add in a special second temptation competition later this week because we were talking about a competition that was planned for cheesecake but then never just came to fruition so house guests later this week the library will be open because we are going to play the bb or big brother zingbot and here's how it works hello loser yeah i'm not gonna go through that spiel um but uh, anybody who wants to play a temptation competition is optional. It has big reward, but big risk. The risk is simple. You One, you can piss off your fellow house guests, but also two, you have to pay 50 all-star dollars, 5-0 to play. The winner gets the pot plus a bonus of 50 all-star dollars. Uh, it's very simple. You must submit a zing like you see in Big Brother Zing Bot or like you see in the reading competition in uh, Drag Race. Uh, my favorite one was the lemon one in Big Brother Can er, Drag Race 1 when she goes, uh, 
for somebody who talks about fucking a lot, the only thing you're fucking is stupid. I forgot who she said it to, but it was funny. Um, yeah. Was that uh, the Charlene? Maybe, yeah, yeah. Uh, aww. Um, so, those of you who play will have to submit a zing for everybody else who is playing and for myself. Uh, I am not going to be a judge because then I have to get Marcin or some third party person, good man, whatever, to have to send it to me. So you're just going to send it to me uh, and I'm going to send it to the five judges who are all alumni. You are not allowed to scope around the alumni for who's a judge. They are not allowed to contact you. They will be judging it blindly. So if Jonah does the same on Dustin, they're not going to know it came from Jonah. They're just going to know that it's for Dustin. Uh, they will each give a score. For each of your zings, the highest and lowest score, like in figure skating or in pageants, is dropped. Glow knows this, the high and low is dropped. That goes way back. Uh, and the remaining scores are average, and whoever has the highest average will win the pot and the temptation competition. Uh, just like in real Zingbot, you're, you want your zings to be funny, edgy, but also accurate. So if you make something like I'm an Oompa Loompa who's short and fat, that's not really accurate. But, you know, so, yes. Uh, you must decide by tomorrow, Wednesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time whether or not you are playing in the Temptation competition. You must get back to me, yes or no. If you fail to get back to me, you're fined 25 All-Star Dollars. Then your zings, for those of you playing, are due Thursday at what is this, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will then pass it over to the judges, and they will have their, their scores by 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday, and we will have the results. And, of course, the big reveal, Friday. So don't be afraid to go for it. Um, I also remember the one on The Office where Dwight was singing Michael, and he has, you have no women, you have no hopes, you have no land, or something. Okay, any questions about that? No. Okay, I know you're all waiting to get to the veto competition. You all look like you're ready to pass out from the nervousness. So, playing in the veto competition was the head of household, Dustin, the nominees, Glow, and Jonah. Curtis was selected in the random draw. Corey was selected in the draw, but he couldn't make it. Uh, I think he's, oh yes, he's busy at the gay nightclub getting a happy ending after a massage. Bathworks, that's where he is, yeah. <laughs> Uh, he and, called it a physio appointment. Sure, yeah. So he selected Caleb to play for him. Then I think Alex was selected by JoJo. No, by Glow. Glow had house guest choice and selected Alex. JoJo was supposed to play, uh, but he's uh, busy um, opening up the southern border some more. And something along those lines. And he selected... I drawing a blank i think that was somebody who's not here jonathan jonathan are you still here yeah you're still here okay good okay and i when i mean southern border thing i mean he was hosting a citizenship party it's all very good and all done don't don't go calling ice okay uh is that still a thing or was that just a trump era is there still ice i've never heard there is oh wow okay yes all right so what about ice tea is he still alive I haven't heard from him in a while. Oh, he, he died? Really? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. No. I, I don't know. Uh, all right. So we all know the category is Big Brother Cheesecake 8, Political Bait. So good luck, everybody. Good luck, everyone. Sorry, I'm just getting this out of good the luck, way. Good luck, everybody. Sorry, I'm just setting up. Any final questions or words before I begin? Sounds like no. I have a question. Sure. Yes. He wants, he wants to type the answer in the Cheesecake Facebook main chat, correct? Yes. Must be in the form of a question and must be the correct type of question. So if it's a person, who is? Uh, if it's an object, what is? And now you just reminded me of Jeopardy. I watched again today. I'm so upset with this Tournament of Champions. All my favorites are falling out. It's very upsetting. Um, but yeah. Any other questions? Okay. All righty. Then let's begin. Wait till my damn Facebook thing loads. Okay. You All let right. me know when you're ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. You ready? All right. Here we go. Round one. 
Quitting on day five, this person holds the record for shortest number of total days spent in the Big Brother Cheesecake House. And we have, oh, okay. So the correct answer is Erica. She only spent uh, five days. Uh, the, yeah, the shortest number of total days spent in the Big Brother Cheesecake House. Everybody got that right, except for Glow. You said Sean, I'm sorry. Glow, you are eliminated. Okay. And if you can please go off camera, Glow. And Brazil, you as well, please. Uh, everybody else is, one, two, three, four. yeah, okay. I'll get off, let me get back. Yeah. Thank you. You don't have to leave, just go off camera. I'm trying to get to it. Okay. The speaker thing that lets me know to open it is not showing anywhere. Oh, right, it's okay. I can do it. If you're smart enough to know what we want, okay. listen up. Okay. Good. All right. Real. Okay. <laughs> Round two. This person not only was featured in the cold open of the season, but also ripped up your piece of paper when you were term. Oops, evicted. Now remember, spelling doesn't count as long as I know who you're talking about. Uh, uh, you always make it difficult for me. You know who I'm talking right? about. That's what you just said, as long as you know who I'm talking about. Don't hate me, Jonah, but Arnold S. is it's just it's not enough. What? Um, what if I just said Arnold? That's still that could have been any that could have been the Hey Arnold character. The, you remember the football character? Like, and, Andrew, that's that you said as long as you know who I'm talking about. Arnold S is Arnold Schwarzenegger. A hundred percent. I really, I like. I know it's your call, but look at what look at what Alex wrote. That's like that's gibberish for me. That would have also. I mean, in fairness, Dustin. That's closer wrong. than the S. Dustin would have been wrong with Schwanger, and Alex would have been wrong with Arch Warnager. But S is it's it's not even it's just, it's not close enough. I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. So, Jonah, you are eliminated. The correct answer was Arnold Schwarzenegger. Very impressed with Curtis getting it first. And I think that's the correct spelling too. Not that you needed it, but very good. Okay. Okay. Round three. Dustin had an incredible six head of household wins, but would have had one more if he knew global leaders better during this competition, based on a game show originally hosted by Chris Tarrant in the UK in 1998, before moving to the US and most of the world a year later. Oh, interesting. Sorry, Joan, I do need you to go off camera. Sorry. It's interesting. I'm surprised Dustin doesn't know his own question. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is very odd. Okay. Jonathan says, What is who wants to be playing? So does Curtis. So does Caleb, so does Dustin. And Alex is last. The correct answer, answer is, what is, who wants to be a millionaire? Uh, Dustin was two letters off, but it's that's close enough to millionaire. I'm gonna accept that. And Alex, unfortunately you were last, so you are eliminated. 
Dustin, what took you so long? That was your own question. For some reason, I thought you said leader. So I thought you were looking for, because I remember I did a competition and I thought it was a question in who wants to be a millionaire and not the game show itself. So I knew it was the game show, but I thought you were looking for like King Charles or something like that for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to be the leader. So I was looking for who is something. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Alex, I'm sorry you've been eliminated. So we're down to, correct me if I'm wrong, we're down to Caleb, Jonathan, Curtis, and Dustin. Yeah. All right. Round four. This political party wore purple and were characterized by moderate political beliefs, but more importantly, free thinkers who wanted to separate and form their own government. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so... John, the correct answer is Block Quebecois. Jonathan is correct. Curtis, who were Block Quebecois, that's okay. But Dustin, you're very far off there. I can't yes. accept the, the who is Blikyok Quebecois. <laughs> Maybe that's what Marty, remember Marty in Big Brother Canada 10? Hello, I am Marty from French Canada. Uh -huh. uh, when the Montreal Canadiens score a goal, everybody in the audience gets a poutine. Uh -huh. Uh, but unfortunately, yeah, I can't accept that. So you are eliminated. Okay. We're down to Caleb, Curtis, and Jonathan. Round five. Ooh, this one's fun. I don't think anybody studied this one today in the calls that I was on, but let's see. Here we go. The number of house guests on the wheel when Penny was rocked out. Oh. Ooh. So unfortunately, the correct answer was how many is three, um, which Jonathan... You got lucky there that Curtis was first. Uh, I was the only one that got that right. Correct. So unfortunately, Curtis, you were the first to get it wrong. So I'm sorry, Curtis, you are eliminated. Okay. So we are down to Caleb, who is here with me. I And Jonathan, one of you is about to win the golden power of veto. Oh boy. Here we go. Round six. Two of the four season mascots whose faces appeared on the logo. We're looking for two. Oh, I... Uh huh. I know. The correct answers were. Gilles Duceppe, who is now, people know who Gilles Duceppe is now thanks to Cheesecake, because before that it was just Rhonda and I and Kat, maybe we knew the hell who he was. Uh, Gilles Duceppe, um, uh, Justin Trudeau, Donald Trump, and for the life of me, I cannot remember who the NDP person was. It Jack Layton? Who the hell was the NDP person? I should know this. Bernie Sanders. Oh, you're right, sorry. Uh, and Bernie Sanders was the NDP person. So who is Trump and Trudeau is correct, which means Jonathan, congratulations. You have won the golden power of veto. Nice. Good job. Congrats, Congrats. Jonathan. Congratulations, Jonathan. Well done. Congrats. I'm surprised for, I'm surprised for a political beat. What should be Carter from the logo, Andrew? He wasn't in hospice care yet at the time. So. <laughs> but he is alive. <laughs> I'm just surprised he was out of political theme season he wouldn't put Jimmy Carter on the logo. That's like because like, I thought that was like his favorite political figure ever. Andrew, can you start my video? Oh, sorry, yes. Okay. Jonathan, I'm, I'm gonna get close video in a second. Congratulations, you've won the Golden Power Veto. And yeah. okay, so Glow, you should be able to click on it now. And now, with Jonathan holding both the Golden Power Veto and potentially, he also, we all know, has the Ruby Power Veto. It's time to get to 
the Golden Power Veto Ceremony. Hey guys, it's me, Jonathan, and I've won the Golden Power Veto. I'm so excited that for the first time in the season, I have the power uh, to veto one of the two nominees, potentially either John, Jonah or Glow. Uh, I just want to remind you all that this is so much fun and I love you all so much. And my sister just turned 30. Happy birthday, whatever your name is, I forgot because I was smoking a big doobie and I forgot my sister's name, but that's okay. So Jonah, why should I use the Golden Power Veto to save you? Congratulations on winning the Power of Veto, Donovan. Um, I don't think I have any really good reason why you should use the veto on me. <laughs> um, congrats. Okay, thank you. And Glow, why should I use the Golden Power of Veto to save you? Wow, I'm not gonna sit here and bash Jonah to try to save myself, because we all are gonna go up. I just feel like I'm not a shady player. I've been low key other than entertaining here and there. And um, I just want to stay in the game. Okay. Thank you, Jonah and Glow. Now it's time for my decision. Uh, I've decided. Go ahead, Jonathan. Hey, sorry, I'm like very slow. Uh, we can, but you're very You're like lagging very badly. Yeah. Try again. Sorry. If you turn the video off, that might help. Jonathan, save on bandwidth. Yeah. If you just want to yeah. sneak and turn your video off. Did you color your hair, by the way, Jonathan? Or is it just the lighting? No, we'll never know. All right, can you can you guys hear me now? Is that better? Yes, yeah, that is better. That's much better. Okay, I'm so sorry. This computer is like acting up on me. Um, so honestly, I'm really stressed out right now. Um, Jonah and Glow, like I, I love both of you so much. Um, I'm I'm really really really. Really sorry, but I'm I'm not I oh my god I'm not using the power of you. That's my, I'm sorry. Okay, so and obviously because Jonathan has not used the golden power of veto, he cannot use his ruby power of veto. So this nomination ceremony. I'm really really sorry to both. Sorry, but before we wrap up, Caleb, do you wish to use the coup d'état? I do not. Okay. With that said, Jonah or Glow, who will be evicted, uh, find out tomorrow, and that person will head to Redemple Temple, where Thursday and Friday they will have a chance uh, to come right back into the game uh, as they go up against Brooke, who is on a three-game winning streak, like the Maple Leafs, while well, seven. Uh, I'm Andrew Shevsik, Moonvest. Take care, and remember, uh, Jimmy Carter is still alive. Uh, the Wendy's Baconator is going to go up, up, up in price. And um, Colby Donaldson is the ninth hottest man alive. Good night.